God message for you today, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts, Zechariah for 2.6. This is the day of gimmicks and promotions. Products are palmed off on the public through slick advertising methods. Candidates buy their way into office with expensive election campaigns. The American dream of going from a log cabin to the White House is in danger. Because of the fallen nature of man, these things are not surprising, but it is sad when Christians adopt this faithless way in doing God's work. Recently, someone estimated that 90% of present-day Christian work would continue as is even if the Holy Spirit did not exist. One hopes the guess is wrong, but it is safe to say that a lot of religious machinery runs on the energy of the flesh. And this is not altogether an apostate or unbelieving circles. The time has come to return to spiritual methods of doing spiritual work. The Holy Spirit works in answer to prayer. Dr. D. L. Moody said, every great work of God can be traced to a kneeling figure. I wonder what would happen in America if church boards began spending as much time in prayer during their meetings as they do in tossing around promotional ideas. Can you imagine the spiritual impact of multitudes in prayer for pastors and all aspects of the ministry of the church? For men arrived early at Spurgeon's church on Sunday morning and were given a tour of the building. Opening one door, they saw 1,500 people on their knees, that is, the heating plant, said their guide. Start heating up your church through prayer, you'll end the spiritual energy crisis. Dear child of God, please share this message with your loved one. God bless you.